the mind is an ancient and famous capital. The mind is a city like London, smoky and populous. It is a capital like Rome, ruined and eternal, marked by the monuments which no one now remembers. For the mind like Rome contains catacombs, aqueducts, amphitheaters, palaces, churches, and Estrian statues, fallen, broken, or soiled. The mind possesses and is possessed by all of the ruins of every haunted, hunted generation celebration. Call us what you will, we are made such by love. We are such studs as dreams are made on, and our little lives are ruled by the gods, by Pan, piping of all, seeking to grasp or grasping all of the grapes, and by the bow and arrow god, Cupid, piercing the heart through, suddenly and forever. Dust we are to dust returning, after the burbing, after the gold fall, the fallen ash, the bronze, scattered and rotten, after the white knoll statues which are winter, sleep and nothingness, when will the house lights of the universe light up and blaze? For it is not the sea which murmurs in the shell, and it is not only heart at harp o'clock, it is the dread terror of the uncontrollable horses of the apocalypse running in wild dread toward Alcatraz and returning as suddenly the fear and dread of the mind of others. The others were the despots of despair. The river's freshness sailed from unknown sources. They snickered, giggled, laughed aloud at last. They mocked and marveled at the statue which was a caricature as stained and stiff, and yet a statue of self-love. Since self-love to them, truly my true love, how then was I a stone of, of nervousness? So nervous a caricature did they suppose self-love was unrecruited or betrayed? They thought I had fallen in love with my own face, and this belief became the night-like obstacle to understanding all my broken, my unbroken suffering, my studious self-regard, the pain of hope, the torment of possibility. How then could I have expected them to see me as I saw myself within my gaze or see? that being thus seemed as a toad, a frog, a wen, a mole, knowing their, their certainty that I was only a monument, a monster who had fallen in love with herself alone, how could I have told them what was in me, within my heart, trembling and passionate, like every mind partly or wholly hidden from itself. The words for what is in my heart and in my mind do not exist, but I must seek and search to find. Amid the vines and orchards of the vivid world of day, approximate images, imagery parallels, for what is in my heart and dark within my mind, comparisons and mere metaphors, for all of them were substitutes, both counterfeit and vague. They're, they're, they are, at most, deceptive resemblances, false in their very likeness, like the sons who are alike in kin and more unlike and false, because they seem the father's very self, but each one is although begotten by the same forebears, himself, the unique self, each one is unique, like every other one, and everything, older or younger, ne nevertheless, a passionate non none such who has before has been. Do you hear, do you see, do you understand me now, and how the words for what is my heart do not exist?